Inside Story Uganda. Real source of political up. Aka katambi kitu gendo kuba. Aha. Mboli wa mawugwe duka. Soko li ndi. Kanuka nge nagesi. Atoti sati sa. Kanuka nga mabia. Neda. Kanuka nga mazi. Ah ah. Kanuka ngo mula ambwe. Ah ah. Ubutambi buli fake. Duwachi buli fake. Ubuli liza kululuo. Katiruachi obuzanyanga buli fake. Ako ke Kenya. Ke Kenya kachimi ya chumu Uganda. Mburi chinyata yogira na na kuna lairu ndi inga nga voge la bichu mwizo kuli ya manya mwizo kuli ya mwa manya gawan nye mbabuli ya akatambi kari feke ye disclaimer akatambi kari feke ye disclaimer Me, kanu kange na gishi iye kanu kanga amazi nawe kanu kangomu la mbwe ah, ah. kanu kangomu tumbi tamari <laughs> mwabato ina manyi toka uli riza tamari mwabato ina manyi chicho geza hako oku insinu wetinga afende mkwazi temuka mwudi taka uli la afende mkwazi taka uli ndaba ne mu muteke wala ngalwa kitaka ulira taka ulira kanuka kamali afende mukozi toka ulira kanuka bana tamale tontisa kanuka kanuka kale eh. kakube katere eh? katere 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 kagambe katere kagambe tinzi ni ngana eh katere kagambe kastaka ko we simply have to understand the situation you cannot simply let everybody come around to tell you what to do there are particular things that we need to work on as a team and there are particular things we need to do individually so Audrey, if you choose that this is going to be an individual initiative please let it happen do it your own way fulfill your test you simply cannot come and you know think that you're going to rely on other people to do what you're basically supposed to do so there are certain things I'm looking at and I'm simply telling you that whatever happens, just make sure that you know exactly what you're going to do. Just make sure that you are in the full control of yourself, your emotion, your composure. Otherwise, you may be doomed to fail for no reason. So let us reorganize ourselves and see how basically we can move. But of all things, the priority should be you. It starts with you, and therefore it must end with you. So simply think about that. Well, uh, I was still trying to try to, to digest the, and see how the situation analysis brings the report. You know, we move through a set of measurements, and in those measurements, we try to see basically those things that do a lot to our lives. And now currently, look at this young man already in Kigari. I know he's going to be coming back with a lot of things, but prior to that, they didn't know exactly what took place before he was pushed to Chigari. No, really, I think I should do, be having a hint. And in that hint, I believe there was a meeting because it, uh, I believe Mosai had to react to, to the retirement room, actually to the retirement explosion, which this man did. Had he, I think it brought a lot of upheavals, but he needed to be sent to, to PK to think about so many things. And I believe something is going to happen right there to make sure that at least his, his mind is revised and you could have a fundamentally, properly, and thinking mind. So that is what I think. No, really, beyond that. Now, let me tell you exactly what, uh, what took place. You see the Kahindo Tafiris were around. The Minister of Defense was also around. They summoned the number of people. And you know, Mosai's anger is uh, rooted uh, from the fact that uh, at the level of a, uh, a lieutenant general, uh, the approach would be very different. At least by standard UPDF law, at that rank, somebody is, can only request to retire at 60 years, not 49, not 48. Not even 50, meaning it would require him uh, a decade and three more years 
Fils to retire. No. He was talking about the example because as a commander for land forces, it is mind boggling. Very, very much so. Mind boggling. To see a man of his caliber come out on Twitter to make those things, those I mean, fierce sentiments, it doesn't make sense at all. Now, putting all that together, they had to put him in shape. And uh, that's exactly what I used to tell him, Zay, that really, the person you are talking about, you are trying to push, is not ready. He's not ready at all. Uh, when you look at the measurements of his uh, mental psych, it's not adding up very well. You need a school that can train him. And actually, Musei had this gun. His pistol was just on the table when he was addressing. And uh, for those who know him, that is a sign that is extremely angry. And they told him, you know, you are supposed maybe we organize and take this man to the court martial. But again, the political implications would be very bad. Looking at people of NUP who are so much flabbergasted by a lot of poco poco, I believe they would turn it around that it is some game Museven is playing. But the man was totally annoyed. And of course, different people had to come into. To, to, to talk to Mose to the youth is venom. Mm? And they told the boy to apologize. You see, when you still have a boyish mind, very childish, there are things you believe. Because when uh, I think Sam who was the only civilian in the meeting, he asked him now, you should declare your retirement. Just like that. What implication does it give to people like Sajusa, who have sought to retirement for the last decade, and they are within the retirement age? But UPDF insists we still need you here. How about you? Want to retire before even half a decade, half a century, and to senior arm officer, not just that the real commander of the UPDF, because land forces is the real strength of the army. So what really would transpire out of that? There's a question for another time. Really, that sounds very, very ambiguous and very annoying. You see, when you when you look at him, actually, he has a problem, and that problem of, you know, show off and all of that. No, actually, Muse was telling him, if you have nothing to say, avoid talking about my army. The last time you talked about the Tigre, recently we were talking about Russia, you supporting Russia, you're creating a head for my people from the West. I have more friends from the West than from the East. What kind of image are you creating for me? And in case you, 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 you become politically fertile, what is your future? Who are you allies? Today you're talking about the Tigre. Tomorrow you are talking about the Egyptians. They are the next time you are talking about Russia. I mean, what kind of image, what kind of image are you trying to create for us? You know, such questions. Exactly that is what I was talking about. You see, I would call it a, 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 a catastrophic mental disorder. If you listen critically how this man behaves, there are particular things that need to be fixed. And I personally have tried to do my level best to see that at least everything is put in order. But I think the company he moves with, secondly, the people who are willing to tell him that that is wrong and that is correct, they are missing. And actually, even when they were there, is he willing to listen? Is he willing to adjust? Those are some of the other problems that we are faced with. Now, if he becomes a political player in this country, and this disorganizing military is going to create cohesion, coercive cohesion in the, in the military, getting it divided up, bringing up mixed opinions, and you know, creating a very great danger for the country. Through the military, it is really very dangerous. And we normally talk about it in the normal terms. 
That's why immediately after that incident, I was like, now, let us not put this ahead because everybody's ears have been risen like a deer. So we had to think about a better option. The tweet was brought down and tried to, to edit the statement with the video. But in the eight years, but even then the eight years are not determined by you. The high command has to decide before you take effect of that. So the whole thing is hocus pocus, just meaning restock. That could create a lot of problems to the country, the problems to the regime, problems within the military, creating a mutiny, creating a division, a divisiveness, and things of the like. Really, it is not good at all. You see, uh, such a thing happens, and uh, for so many reasons. But I have to tell you that we have a very, very serious problem. A very serious problem. When you look at what really happened in that meeting, it's telling us we have a serious problem in the country. We're having several problems happening left and right. I mean, it is like we are trying to jump out of torture. Then we're having political madness. Then from there, the first families fighting one another. Then we have an economic and a financial downfall. I mean, the whole country is a mix up of problems, just problems, just. The parliament is sick, bedridden, and the things of the like. So the whole thing is a, is a mixture of so much. Anyhow, we have other things to have. So let us try to look at how uh, we are going to maneuver through all the waves from everywhere. At least I'm lucky we met and we had a brief talk. I really appreciate. It would not have been without, I mean, your input. That phone call you gave me, it guided me a lot. Now I think of um, a reconciliation plan, um, especially with the colleagues in Tanzania, colleagues in Kenya, colleagues in Zambia, Marawi, Mozambique. So let's just start to reorganize our service. But please, when I need your help, please come in. I'm not here to come and uh, create turbulences between you and the first son. It is all about you know, what we can do together, how we can manage the situations, how we can support each other. So the likes of Tamari Merundu are there just to fight till drop dead. But we are going to persevere and see how to move. In the case of anything that ever happens, I think we can handle and uh, we let go what we cannot control. Otherwise, we cannot be the alphas and the omegas of this country uh, to want to cross examine the situations that uh, yes, really come around in, the, in a sequence of events. So the rest can be handled, that one I'm very sure. So let us try to work together. Very soon we are going to make it. No, I'm really very grateful. For me, I have no problem whatsoever. And as an adult with grandchildren, by the way, there are certain things I'm looking at, and I mean, invoking in some sense, particularly me personally, I would support the Russia for the West has done worse crimes during war than any other country, especially the United States has done more crimes, war crimes than any other country in the world, not even German during Hitler's time. But here we are, tagging Putin as a war criminal, things of the like, anyway. It is, uh, it, it, it is, I just have the right to, to, to air out my opinion, but I don't have the powers to change anything. All I can do is to talk, talk and talk. That is okay. So, let us start to see what we can do. You know, we are looking at it literally. We simply have to understand the situation.